with the release of Omniman. Everyone's on here asking me, yo, one step, how do I counter Omniman? How do I beat him? And so today I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into how to counter Omni-Man. Basically, what are his biggest weaknesses and where exactly can you punish him? So, so Omni-Man players rely on a couple starting factors. First and foremost, they have one major low, which is their forward three. And the first hit of that is a low. So they can go into any specials after that as well. As that's a low starter, they might throw it out there quite a bit. Now, when it comes to overheads, we do have our forward two option. And that might look quick, but it's really not. And it's punishable as well. It's also an overhead, so you can up block it if you see it coming. He has his Viltrumite Stance 3 move, which is an overhead as well. And again, that looks fast, but it's the both of those moves are very slow. Not only that, but the forward two overhead, you can't really combo off of, but you can combo off the forward three. So the first note here that we're gonna talk about is you're gonna just wanna block low. That's the first key in order to countering Omni-Man, just block low. But if you're further away, like right here distance, just block high. Because everything this distance and more, he's gonna have an overhead for, especially the forward two option. If you see a punch like this, block high. The reason why his two two combo is an overhead and that can cancel into specials like his grab, and then you can just, you know, just get a full combo off of that way. So I know it's quick reaction, but that's the beauty of fighting game. So if you're up close with Omni-Man, block low. If you see a punch, let go and just block high. The reason why that's most optimal is because they can go with the forward and that's really hard to react to. However, seeing a punch like this and just letting go and blocking high, that's a bit more reactable than trying to just guess, you know, lower overhead from here. Just block low. Now let's go back to the overhead options I was telling you about. We have the forward two option. Again, first you can't combo off of it. So even if they hit you with it, it's not terrible. Like it's not the end of the world. And to further prove my point here on that forward two option, how slow it is, again, it looks fast, but it's 28 frames on startup and as you see here every other string or normal is not even close to that we have 12 18 16 17 9 19 and again this 4 2 is 28 on startup i think it's like the slowest move the slowest normal or string even our longer strings here 14 on startup 17 on startup like his forward two option it looks fast, but it's actually his slowest normal and slowest string. Not only that, but our Viltrumite stance, our three option here, that is 36 frames on startup, and that is his slowest special. Look at this, we got 27, that's slow, but not quite as slow as 36 frames on startup. And everything else here, like 21, 7, 16, 12, 12, 12. Like we have options, but the, the Viltrumite stance three, the tiebreaker here, the overhead coming down on top of you, that is the slowest special he's got. So both of his overhead options on the ground and from the Viltrumite stance are just super slow. Not only that, but you can up-block the Viltrumite stance overhead and completely punish him. I'll show you what it looks like when you just normal block it compared to up-blocking. And because it's 36 frames on startup, you can easily up-block it. So here's what it looks like when we just normal block it. We're just gonna normal block. We're gonna be pushed away. We can't really punch him before he blocks. But if we up-block it, full punish. Same thing goes if you're fast enough for this forward two option, just like this. I know both of those aren't super ideal, meaning you do have to react kind of fast, but they are pretty slow on startup. So if you do see it coming, you can usually get a good punish off of those. Especially the Viltrumite stance overhead. That's just super slow at up blocking it. It's like a cakewalk. So again, you're gonna wanna block low just normally. And then if you're more than a few steps away, just block high. If you see the overhead coming, just uh, up block it. His animations are fast, but he's kind of a slower character, especially for his overhead and his lows. A lot of Omni-Man players rely on the forward three, this low move to go into any kind of special or other strings and just block and low like that really shuts him down not only that but his forward three option the low option he's got that's also unsafe it's negative 11 on block meaning if you throw out a one or likely a two square or triangle you're gonna be able to punish him before he can block as well and everyone's two is nine on startup and everyone's one is seven on startup so you're gonna beat the forward three if you block it other than that i'm gonna be honest with you he's got a lot of safe stuff yes but those are just normal strings the stuff he relies on is pretty punishable in the viltrumite stance we have the one which is they do the grab but it's actually just a mid it's actually not really a full grab Grab. We have the two, which is also a mid. And we have the four, which is also a mid. So really in the Viltrumite stance, he's got three mids and then an overhead, but the overhead is super easy to call and super easy to up block and then punish. I'm not saying go absolute AWOL with Omni-Man. You do got to play a little bit more defensively, but once you get his game plan down, he doesn't have a lot of opening options. The biggest thing you got to worry about when playing Omni-Man is honestly whatever cameo he chooses, but that's a whole nother conversation. I can give you all this information on what's safe, what's not safe, but it's up to you to actually put that in practice and implement that in your game 
gameplay. Start to play Omni-Man more and more, and you're gonna see the openings appear. And with time, I think you'll find that he's actually pretty easy to punish, and you won't be worried about it too much. Let me know down below, what do you think of Omni-Man in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? If this video helped you out, consider subscribing here for more content, because we have new videos Monday and Friday, and we stream at least twice a week. I'll see you in the next one, and until then, just take it one step at a time.